Hey geeks, I'm Trey Guillotine and you're watching Geekly Trends where I give a few thoughts about some of the geeky trends that have happened in the past week. Bioware has confirmed that they will be putting out no story DLC for Mass Effect Andromeda. But first... Recently, Bioware released a statement on their blog in regards to upcoming content for Mass Effect Andromeda. It reads, Since the release of Mass Effect Andromeda, we've worked hard to address feedback from our community, from improving animations to expanding customization options. We look to respond to your concerns and build on what you loved. With each patch, you let us know that we were heading in the right direction, and we're grateful to everyone who joined us on this journey. We're proud of what we created, and we hope you enjoyed it as well. Early in development, we decided to focus Mass Effect Andromeda's story on the Pathfinder, the exploration of the Andromeda Galaxy, and the conflict with the Archon. The game was designed to further expand on the Pathfinder's journey through this new galaxy with story-based Apex multiplayer missions, and we will continue to tell stories in the Andromeda Galaxy through our upcoming comics and novels, including the fate of the Quarian Arc. Our last update, 1.10, was the final update for Mass Effect Andromeda. There are no planned future patches for single-player or in-game story content. In the coming weeks, our multiplayer team will provide details of their ongoing support and upcoming content, including new multiplayer missions, character kits, and what's in store for N7 Day. We appreciate the millions of people who came with us to the Andromeda Galaxy. We hope to see you again in the Mass Effect universe. The Mass Effect Andromeda team. I've talked about this before, but now we have confirmation. I can't help but feel a little bit of a betrayal. Like this huge slap in the face to Mass Effect fans. Not just because they're not putting out any story DLC for Andromeda, which the previous games had plenty of strong story DLC, even though I'm not in love with the idea of selling different parts of the game as DLC when those parts should have been in the game in the first place. But I digress. What really pisses me off is that this seems to have been their plan from the beginning. Building up to the release of Andromeda, they talked about how this story was going to be more our story of our Pathfinder than Shepard was. That Shepard was already kind of an established character in the Mass Effect universe when you began. With Ryder, they wanted the player to be more in control. Now, they reveal that the control was never in the hands of the player. We fought the Archon and told that story. But that was the only story they intended to tell from the beginning. The game was launched without a season pass. Which is odd coming from EA who can't wait to sell you 50 different versions of the season pass. They said over and over they were going to let the game grow organically instead of committing to a trilogy. But all of this was a lie. They gave us the game, they let us create our characters, they let us make our decisions for the one story against the Archon, and now, regardless of our decisions or our story, they're going to tell the rest of the story through comics and books. That just really pisses me off. Especially coming from Bioware which nearly all of their games focuses on players creating characters and making decisions in the story. Like I said, I've talked about this before. This decision is not news. They're going to tell the unfinished stories of Andromeda through comics and books. Fine. But my last gleam of hope, the last thread that I'm holding on to, is they're continuing making content for Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer. Now, there's a good chance this multiplayer content will just be more of the same spewed out to make money in microtransactions, without giving the player anything of real substance. But Bioware has a chance to unfuck the situation they've given us by giving strong story content in multiplayer. The multiplayer for Mass Effect 3 is the first multiplayer I've ever played and thoroughly enjoyed. I usually hate multiplayer because of other players and because I really suck at it. But the co-op system they use fits me perfectly. Not only that, but the multiplayer gives you customization of your characters, even if it's just in colors and weapons. But they also let you name your characters. I actually wrote short stories about my multiplayer characters. They all had backstories and interactions with each other. And I'd like to continue to do the same with my characters in Andromeda. Because they're abandoning the Mass Effect Andromeda single player, I feel like they could add more story elements to the multiplayer. Something they did in Mass Effect 3, which I really liked, was released maps and characters that were relevant to the story of Mass Effect 3, like Awoken Collectors or N7 Fighters from Earth, and a map set in destroyed London. It really made the multiplayer experience feel like part of the story, and they started to do that in the Andromeda multiplayer through the Apex missions, even having Ryder assign the missions in single player. And then you can transfer to the multiplayer and carry them out. 
but I think there is so much more they can do. Give us maps and characters that are relevant to the story they've left unfinished. Release some Quarian and Drell characters. Create a map in the Quarian arc so we can fight off whatever enemy they're up against. Give it some backstory. Give the story some banter. They did it in Dragon Age Inquisition. The Dragon Age Inquisition multiplayer wasn't as fun as the Mass Effect multiplayer, but it still had a lot of really strong elements. It was essentially running a dungeon with a dungeon party and was relevant to the story. And best yet, there was some really good banter among the characters you were playing with. Give us things like that for Mass Effect. Even give us new modes of multiplayer, instead of just wave after wave in missions. Let us fight through the vault and beat a boss and then rush out of the vault before the cleansing process kills us. Bioware and EA conned us. They promised the game, built on what we've come to expect from Bioware and Mass Effect, and purposely didn't come through. I've come to expect this from companies like EA, but Bioware was supposed to be better than that. Now they have a chance to fix it. Even just a little fix. Give story elements to multiplayer. Continue the story in multiplayer. And let the players have that control back. Even just a little bit. When planning your next Wizard World Comic Con experience, use the discount code GUILLOTINEGEEK online to get 10% off your ticket purchase, and use those savings to buy some merch or meet a celebrity. What do you think of Bioware's handling of Mass Effect Andromeda? Let me know in the comments and follow me on all the internets. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it so others can join in the conversation. Check out my written content at guillotinegeek.blogspot.com support my future content by becoming a patron on my Patreon, and subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.